While filters may generally be used to shape the timbre of a sound, some filters can generate their own sound by simply boosting the filter resonance. Many of these self-resonating filters output signals that closely resemble sine waves, useful for all kinds of sounds, including the classic resonant filter kick drum. Let's connect a self-resonating filter to a mixer and oscilloscope to see if we can generate sound. I'll route the output of channel 1 on the Maleco Borg 2 to the mixer and crank up the filter resonance, or peaking as it's called on the Borg. I'll keep the cutoff frequency low to avoid piercing high frequencies while watching the filter output level on the mixer so we don't deafen ourselves or blow out our speakers. When the resonance reaches a certain level, we'll start to hear the sound of the sine wave. We can use the cutoff knob to control the pitch of the filter. We may even be able to calibrate our self-oscillating filter so it will play back note sequences. However, this setup is perfect for creating a wide variety of sounds, including the kick drum we're about to build. Way back in our first video, we explored using one envelope to control both the pitch and volume on our kick drum sound. Let's start with the pitch. I'll route an envelope to control the cutoff using the external or EXT input, so I can use the attenuator to limit the range of pitch shifting. I'll create a simple envelope shape for the kick drum, with a quick attack and a slightly longer decay. Notice here the envelator attack and decay knobs are reversed in orientation. When I trigger the envelope, the pitch on the kick drum should rise quickly and fall back down to give a nice fat kick tone. Controlling the volume may seem unnecessary, but it's probably wise to avoid muddiness in the low range once the kick settles to a low frequency. On the Borg, we can use the second filter channel in VCA mode, switching the filters into series if they aren't already. Routing the same envelope shape to the channel 2 external control, we can get the effect of a low pass gate VCA manipulating the amplitude of the first filter. Of course, we could use any resonant filter and VCA or low pass gate, including the passive VCAs we recently made in one of our classes. One of the reasons this is such a classic patch. It's also a great reason to have an extra filter or two in your system. What would you like to see in our upcoming videos? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.